Um, yeah, it's been uh, been strange. Obviously, you know, especially when it first started, you know, you're worrying that owners were going to go, and um, we didn't know when it was going to end. But you know, you know, everyone's been brilliant. I've been very lucky, and everyone's worked together to get through it. And now, obviously, racing's on. Um, it's been strange going to the races without people, but I have to say, I think the race course has done a, a seriously good job to to make it safe. All the protocols in place are. Are brilliant and yeah I can't wait for it to get started proper you know we've got some really nice young horses and uh, I'm very excited about you know going forward. La Bagawa she has been an absolute brilliant horse to train she's done my career so much good she runs in the Charlie Hall as well all being well as long as the ground's not too soft she ran well at Perth just got a bit tired my horses are needing a run she subsequently had a, a, a wind operation just a tweak which she had two years ago before she went on a winning spree again her work since then has been extremely good. The owners have been brilliant and they've let me do whatever I've wanted with her and they wanted to go out on a high. So, you know, we'll do our best to try and win what we can and uh, go out at the top. Um, Emma Tom's had two races um, over fences so far. Um, he ran a great race and jumped brilliantly at Toxter. Bit below his best next time, um, I thought, at Foss Lass, obviously taking on two very, very good horses. No harm done, he still jumped well, um, so he'll be freshened up now. We might look at the Grade 2 novice chase at the Labrooks meeting um, over three mile. I expect him three miles, soft ground. Um, he'll, he'll be a real tough nut to crack later on. Keeper Hill, yeah, he's amazing. At the, the age he is, he, he seems to improve after every summer. He seems to produce his best um, in small fields. He's a good jumper, wouldn't want the ground too soft. Obviously, Frodon winning the way he did on Saturday really improved his form from last season. He was only beaten a length and a half by that horse at Kempton. So he's a horse I'm really looking forward to, and he deserves to win a big race. Bob Marler, he ran on Saturday at Cheltenham. Um, obviously took Frodon in his exceptional best. For his first run, Bob, he was just, he was just a, probably a bit rusty early doors, and then it took him a bit of time to get into the race, and by that point, you know, they were gone. And his first run of the season tends to be not his best, but um, I've said it all along, the main target is the Grand National. Um, he's off a mark of 142, so he has to go up four or five pounds. From what I saw going into Saturday, he's a better horse this year than he was last year, so it bodes well for the season ahead. Port Rush Ted, yeah, he's been a hard horse to train. Um, he's sort of been on and off and he's had injury issues. He's won plenty of races. Um, he fell at Haydock last year when, um, when he um, was running very well. He might run in the long distance hurdle at Weatherby, but I think this horse, he's a graded horse this season. I would be surprised. He's only one three nine, but that's way below what I, I'm seeing at home. If he can just have a clean run and we can get plenty of races into him, I wouldn't be surprised me if he's definitely won a grade, graded race by the end of the season. Timeless Beauty N, big strapping mare. Um, she won her point to point really nicely in very heavy ground at the end of sort of in the spring, February time. If she hasn't run yet, she'll probably run in a two and a half mile uh, mare's novice hurdle. Jumps very well, not very quick, but she's pro you're probably going to see her at her best later down the line when she jumps the fence. But I'm excited about her, and everything I've seen has been good. A tale of two sissies, yes, she's been bought by Anthony Bromley um, for the Million Mine partnership. Um, she was rated 73 um, with Charlie Fellow. She won by 23 Lien at Catterick on soft ground, which is something you need for juvenile hurdling. So she stays very well. She hasn't jumped here, she hasn't been um, here very long. But I, I know Ant, he doesn't really say a lot, but he's quite excited about her, so uh, she could be one to follow this season. My horse you should put in your tote tent to follow is Emma Tom.